that was passed in 2008 masquerading as a Freedom in Education Act. And if you read the bill, nowhere in it do you find the term creationism. But the fact of the matter is that actions speak louder than words. And we have, we, we have all seen that over the past few years, this, this legislation has been used uh, in an attempt to uh, downgrade the science education of our students in this state. Uh, the fact of the matter is that when we came into this, uh, this term of, uh, of the legislature, we dedicated over $50 million to the Pennington Biomedical Research Center. Um, we, we've dedicated various other dollars to, uh, to important scientific endeavors in the state of Louisiana over the last few years. Economic development that, is, uh, that has proven to be wise investments, but this, this act undermines those investments. It, 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 it kills jobs, it drives away those who would visit us to have conventions and other, uh, and other businesses, and, it, and, it, uh, and it, it fails to provide our students with the type of science education that they need in a state where science is extremely important. We all know the devastating effects that our coasts have seen over the years. We have all suffered through the effects of the, of the oil spill. Our environment and science and the things that we can derive from scientific studies to protect us from natural disasters and other man-made disasters are crucial in our state. The oil and gas industry that's also crucial in our state is built upon science and science education. So please join with Zach Copland and with Senator Peterson in supporting this bill. It's important that we allow our students to get the type of education that they need, and it's important that we uh, as a legislature, stand up and say, although this act was masquerading as an academic freedom act, um, we know better now, and that actions speak louder than words, and that it's now important that we repeal this, this act. So thank you for being here. Thank you, Zach, and uh, thank you, Senator Peterson. I want to thank you all for turning out in support of science. Yes. In support of science. That's what we're here for this Woo! morning. <laughs> you know, since Zach first approached me about this bill, of course, my record speaks for itself. I've been absol absolutely astonished at the kind of work ethic and determination of this young man we should all be proud of as a Louisiana citizen. He's really the driving force behind this effort to repeal what was called the Louisiana Science Education Act, a misnomer. And I want to take a moment to recognize him for his incredible efforts because we wouldn't have gotten this far without his hard work and determination. So thank you, Zach. <laughs> Repealing this bill is an essential part of building a better future for Louisiana. Legislation like the Louisiana Science Education Act puts Louisiana's children at a disadvantage when it comes to their potential opportunities in growing fields such as biotechnology and health sciences. Initiatives such as the Bio District in New Orleans will offer higher paying jobs and better futures for our children. Our children will be ill prepared for those careers, those exciting careers, without modern education systems that respects and celebrates science. I hope by offering this bill to repeal the act serves as a clarion call to educators, parents, and students alike that we must work to make Louisiana more competitive, not less competitive, for tomorrow's economy. For years, our state has lingered at the bottom of the good list and at the top of the bad list. This is an embarrassment, and we need to get it off the books. Instead of allowing this to perpetuate, we must seize opportunities to improve our educational system from the top to the bottom. This is a part of that effort. The bottom line is that science equals a better education and science equals jobs. Yes. And so certainly the person on the fourth floor I hope is listening and understands that as he promotes economic development and jobs, this is a part of that promotion. Yes. All across the country, STEM is the focus. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. How? Can Louisiana stand proud in support of those initiatives with this kind of law in the books? Denying our children the ability to learn 
long established and universally accepted science opens the door for them and for us. Thank you for all being here and for recognizing the opportunity to have a profound impact on education for years to come. Zach is a tremendous example of a young person who understands one indelible truth. Our children are our future. Let's have this message that we're here today to support resonate all throughout Louisiana and support him in his, in his efforts. I'm merely an instrument. That's what po policymakers are supposed to do. They're supposed to listen to their constituents, listen to the experts at universities, listen to the people that we serve, and our legislative acts should be in response to good public policy. That is what I am here to do today, and I'm joined by Representative Walt Leger and Representative Rosalind Jones, and I hope that we will be successful, and I know that we will be successful because we've got Zach Copland at the helm. Thanks so much for being here. <laughs> Uh, my name is Ian Benz. I'm an assistant professor of science education at LSU. And I want to point out, I want to make sure everyone sees this sign over here, take science education forward to 2025, not back 1925. I absolutely love that sign. I may steal it from my wall when I get back to my office. But I'm here today representing the Louisiana Coalition for Science in support of the Senate Bill 70, introduced by Senator Peterson, and of course, spearheaded by Zach Coughlin. I want to remind everyone a few things that um, 42 Nobel laureates, National Association of Biology Teachers, the Louisiana Association of Biology Teachers, the Clergy Letter, Letter Project, and many prominent scientists, including Dr. Ken Miller and Dr. Richard Dawkins, support this repeal effort. When this Louisiana Science Education Act was approved and signed into law in 2008, it should be interesting for everyone to know that no public school teacher or public university scientist testified in favor of the law. The AAAS, the American Association for the Advancement of Science, the world's largest general scientific society, opposed the Louisiana Science Education Act in 2008. However, the main supporter of the Louisiana Science Education Act is the Louisiana Family Forum, whose mission is to persuasively present biblical principles in the centers of influence. So I think the point that needs to be made here is that scientists and educators are completely against this bill, or this act, Yet, the main supporter is a religious organization. And their, their argument is that they will not allow religion in the classroom. Well, we've seen that's already started to happen. Two school boards, Livingston's Parish School Board in 2010, have already indicated interest in introducing creationism into their classrooms. They said, quote, creationism is another thought of how things came into being. Give every theory due time in the classroom. Tangibahoa Parish School Board recently has said that they want to discuss, quote, evolutionism versus creationism within the science department. This was discussed at their board meeting on April 19th. My final point I want to make is that we need to understand that we are not preparing our students for better futures. They will not be able to get into top universities with this type of education. The jobs will not be there for them. As a science educator, my job is I travel around the country and present the research that we do here in Louisiana, and I can say it's an absolute embarrassment when I say that I'm from Louisiana and the state that supports this type of teaching. Right. Finally, I want to make sure everyone understands. I sometimes feel like I have to hide when I tell everyone that I'm at a state that has the Louisiana Science Education Act. Um, finally, I want to make sure we all understand that this is the absolute right thing to do. We have to repeal this bill or this law, it's time to stop letting this social issue destroy our classrooms. Instead, focus on saving science for all of Louisiana citizens. Thank you.